Hi everyone. This video is going to be about passing as a female when you are a male to female trans person. Passing as the sex you were always meant to be can be challenging for some male to females, especially older ones that have had experience Experience the masculine effects that testosterone brings, or those that have a rather masculine face, body, voice, or and or mannerisms. Passing is also something that not all trans people care about. For me personally, uh, early on in my transition, I needed to pass to know that I was doing things right and so that people didn't see me as a, a freak or a male dressing as a female. I was terrified of that. However, now I do not care if someone views me as a male or a female. I like femininity and being female, and it mostly comes naturally to me. However, I can get offended when people are calling me masculine pronouns or seeing me as a male when I clearly am not. But not for the reason of it questioning my passability. Rather, it is triggering to me comparing it to my former life as a male. That was the worst time in my life. That is why I do not like it, because those negative emotions associated with the male me would resurface. Anyway, if you want to pass as a female, there are two main things you have to focus on. One is your mannerisms, such as body language, posture, walking, communication. Another is your appearance, such as how you dress, hair, makeup, whatever you feel is important. That is something to note. You can do as much or as little of these as you want and feel comfortable with. If you are determined to pass, it will be a lot of work, but given enough time and dedication, you can succeed. Both of these are required if you want to pass. If you look 100% female, but your mannerisms of voice are not, then you will that will give it away. Likewise, if you are feminine and behave as such, but your appearance looks masculine, then people may question your gender. Regarding both mannerisms and appearance, the number one key is to observe other women. If you were raised a male and behave as one, or rather what society considers male, then by observing how other women in your society look, talk, behave, observing how they carry themselves, as well as incorporating those traits into your character and practicing, you can take on their traits of what society considers female. Uh, relatedly, by utilizing the power of suggestion, hypnosis, and giving yourself uh, affirmations that you are female, that you look and behave as one, this will help if you are suggestible and believe the suggestions you have given yourself. This has actually helped me greatly get to where I am since I believe my, I believe my suggestions and physically and mentally became the woman I envisioned in my mind when I was hypnotizing myself. I would have uh, hypnosis videos uh, related to transitioning in the future. And lastly, and probably most importantly, having confidence in yourself regardless of if you pass or not. By believing in yourself and having confidence in your appearance, regardless of how you look, you will not really care what other people think and it won't matter. Essentially, be yourself and express yourself in a way that is comfortable for you and that no one else has any say in. Anyway, I will now discuss uh, what specific things need to be focused on when it comes to passing as a female. Regarding mannerisms, things like your body language, posture, walking, and communication, including your voice, are all important. When it comes to hand gestures and general movement and posture, there is a difference. Let's take an example when holding a cup. When a male holds a cup, to me it looks more spaced apart and sturdy in their hand. However, this is how I hold a cup. Which one looks more feminine to you?
as a female would hold a cup with all fingers, it would look more delicate and together versus the male way of holding it. Relatedly, how you move your hands is also important. Females would have a more delicate way of moving their hands versus males. For instance, look how my hands are, are moving now. It expresses how I am talking. As a male, however, I may have more erratic and jagged movement in my arms, hands, and, and shoulders. Which brings us to the next point, your posture and how you present yourself. How you sit and move yourself is a big giveaway. So here I am as a female and how I usually present myself. Notice how I am sitting and moving myself as well as my body and hands. Then let's switch over to male mode and notice how I present myself now. Notice how I am sitting and moving when I talk versus the more feminine and female way, way of talking and moving. Another thing is how you walk. Males' legs tend to have more space apart and are generally heavier when they walk. Females, on the other hand, their legs are more together and have more movement in their hips and body in general. And lastly, your communication with others is key to passing as well. How do you talk and say your words? And how is your voice? I do have a video dedicated to finding your female voice that may help more in this area, uh, but getting the right female voice is essential to passing. If everything is female about you except your voice, then that may lower your ability to pass and overall confidence in yourself. By learning to speak in a female manner, you will learn the, the other characteristics of the female voice, such as how you pronounce words, as well as how you speak and talk. By speaking slowly and clearly, this will increase your chances of people recognizing your voice as being feminine. Even though the idea may sound awful to some, record your voice and play it back and listen to how you sound and how you pronounce words. It would be the most beneficial if you could do a real-time monitoring of your voice with a decent microphone. With poor quality equipment, your voice is not going to sound as accurate as how it really sounds. If you could do a real-time monitoring, you can get the voice to where you want it to be that is not only feminine sounding, but also comfortable for you to speak at without straining your voice. The next area to work on is your physical appearance, such as how you dress, hair, makeup. In order to pass, you sometimes need to be like a stereotypical female, but don't conform to any rules. Be yourself and do the things you want to do. If you don't want to do any of these, then don't. The decision is yours. Anyway, what clothing do you like and would want to wear? Some very feminine clothing and dresses are dresses and skirts. I personally love things that are lacy. Uh, find your style that you like and works best for you. Experiment with different styles and find the one that you feel the most comfortable in, as well as not conforming to anyone's rules or guidelines. Be yourself, be you, express who you are. Next, Women tend to have more head hair and less body hair than men. So this means that you may need to shave your body, especially your face, perhaps even hair removal, uh, laser or electrolysis to get rid of it since facial hair can be a big giveaway. It's a shame that, that many men experience hair loss, especially around the temples then their hairline is generally not as good as females. However, when taking hormones, your head hair will grow. But if the problem is really bad, 
you may need to invest in some wigs or extensions or perhaps even surgery to transplant your hair or move the hairline. Also, treat your hair with respect and the right products. When you constantly are bleaching your hair and, or, and drying it out, it will break off and you'll be losing hair. Furthermore, uh, making sure your eyebrows are not thick and more feminine in shape. Males have more uh, flat eyebrows while females have more of an arch and are thinner. Next, makeup can make a huge difference in passing as a female. Try experimenting with different makeup looks and styles and find what works best for you. If you have a facial hair and or acne, makeup can cover that up wonderfully and make you look more youthful and feminine, which will ultimately increase your confidence and ability to pass. And lastly, breasts and genitals. While hormones may give you some amount of breasts, it will most likely not be enough. So think about uh, padded bras. I personally wear uh, padded bras that are like three times the size I should wear just to make it look like I, I have something. And there is a lot of empty room in there. Uh, regarding genitals, you will need to tuck if you plan on wearing tight clothing and don't want a bulge. I've personally never tucked in the traditional sense. I would just wear uh, tight underwear and it would keep, keep it all back and in place. The worst part of tucking is that it is uncomfortable. It's not so much uncomfortable on your penis, but rather the testicles. However, it's possible to tuck your testicles inside your body in the inguinal canal. However, this may cause problems and make it painful or uncomfortable for you. So don't overdo it if you are uncomfortable. Be careful and take care of your body. If all else fails, surgery may be the only way you could pass. If you have a very masculine face and no amount of makeup or anything else will change that, then the only other option may be surgery. Facial feminization surgery can help you if you can afford it. So in conclusion, passing as a female is entirely up to you if you wish to pass and behave and look feminine, or rather what society considers feminine. Don't conform to society's rules and just express yourself however you wish. Because when you have confidence in yourself, regardless of if you pass or not, you'll feel better about your own body image and be happier with yourself and your life. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Thanks for watching.